Alright, now I know this is like my second video today and it's probably going to be a long one because this one's just a relatively in-depth in concept or uh, topic, I mean. Well, this one's going to be about the organization PETA. I believe it stands for something like people working or people ensuring the rightful treatment of animals or something like that. I don't remember the exact the exact um, thing it stands for. But now before people go off and say I'm some kind of cruel person or something, I know that yeah, I know, cruel, cruelty is a problem, but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on PETA's actions. Now, okay, they, it just, I don't know where to start on this one. I've seen some ridiculous stuff, and I've seen some stuff from them that makes sense. Like, I understand the fact that cruelty, um, I think people that are cruel to animals shouldn't get just as harsh as punishment as people that stab someone in the throat seven times. But, the way they market it, it's like, it's just making everybody feel like a retard for eating meat at all. Like, cause it, I can't tell if they're more animal cruelty, like the uh, commercials they show on the TV for that one organization that I can't remember the name of that make you cry every time you see it. Or if they're just trying to tell you to stop eating meat or you're going to die for no apparent reason at all. Now... They, they, I do agree with some of it. Like I said, I really do. I, I think treating animals bad is terrible. I mean, you wouldn't beat your family, to, would you? I mean, if you, then why would you treat your animal bad? But you don't use that as a front to try to get people to be a vegan or vegetarian. And, um, and I don't, it's, I'm not trying to hate on vegans or vegetarians either. I do think it's a very healthy lifestyle choice. I just, again, this is focused on PETA, not anybody's lifestyle choice, okay? Other, other than beating animals, that is a bad thing, and you should go slap yourself in the face with a raw steak if you do that, because I really don't like you if you beat up an animal. Oh, and the slapping the puppy part for trolls. I don't make it a habit of beating up animals. I, I actually have like four cats and I treat them very respectfully and I do not neglect them. But that just showed that that just really that part was really trying to emphasize how much I hated trolls. But back to the topic. Um one they made the only thing that I really have that I've noticed that I didn't this that I absolutely did not understand not just like didn't get but like completely didn't get oh no I mean like I'm talking about like thing is uh when Super Mario 3D Land came out okay now this is the part where I'm gonna say I am not doing this for profit I'm quoting something from another person's channel, and I do enjoy this channel very much. It's Brintel Floss. He's on in my uh, sponsored channels because it, it, he does not have enough subscriptions. His videos are very good. He is very creative, and he has a lot of talent. Now he did this same spiel before, but he just did something on the Mario thing. Now I'm gonna. I'm going to go into that, but then I'm going to go farther along because I've actually sifted through their site some. Now, again, um, I do believe one of my friend's brothers knows him, and uh, he can tell me if Brent sees this at all and does not not want me to do anything like that. If he doesn't want me to use something from one of his videos, I'll take it down, or I can just quote him. I mean, I'm, I've got it. This actually is one of the reasons why he's... My one of my sponsored or not sponsored, but uh, featured ones. Just, other than the fact that I really enjoy everything that he's done. I mean, I bought the CD and everything. So now, when Super Mario 3D Land came out, they made a they 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 just went nuts. It's like they got injected with heroin and Valium mixed together and went off on a 
rampage against one of the most popular video game characters on the face of the planet. I mean, is Mario? Come on, you're you're gonna make you're gonna get ticked off at Mario. I don't know what they were thinking, and but they made their own Flash version of it called. Well, I think it was uh, Super Tanuki Land 2D or something, and I I didn't get to play it because they took it off saying it was all a joke. It wasn't. It, they did that. And I never got a chance to actually look at it very much. But I, I really think they stepped off. Uh, they stepped out of line messing with Mario like that. They had the guts to do it, which I respect. And and I, they their reason was because that the Tanuki suit is. They thought they were they were saying the Tanuki suit in in the Mario in that game was. Uh, the the using of the Tanuki suit was using Mar was that Mario was uh, endorsing animal uh, skinning and trapping, which uh, that I hate very much. If I every time I see something with even fake fur, I don't want to vomit and go slap someone. But I that's just me because I don't think fur is. I'd rather have a live animal that I can look at and say, "Oh, look at it!" or "Whoa, it's an awesome animal!" Or, than wear it. I do not want to. I would not want to wear some animal on my back, or head. Or, all right. Okay, got me now. Um, let me see. Uh, they, they now. Apparently the game was an extremely bloody flash game where Mario tri hunted down, stabbed, and skinned a tanuki, which is a raccoon dog of some kind that's endangered in Japan. Um, I didn't get to play it again because they took it down and pulled that, so I kind of wanted to play it to see, to have material for this video, but I never did. So, I played another one of their games called... Super Tofu Boy. Now, anybody that's been on Xbox Live has Super Meat Boy, I'm sure, or at least heard of it, and if not, eh, well, it's extremely hard and it's extremely popular, it's mainstream, which I understand, and if it actually deserves to be, and it is, that's okay, but if it's not, eh, that's my other video. Now, um, they made Super Tofu Boy, and it's very strange because they just, they, they... They just are insanely um, dramatic. They, they, their stuff is always way blown up out of proportion. Um, okay, so I understand. And of of like trying to get people to eat healthier by going turning vegetarian. But that's ridiculous. I don't see how they didn't get slapped with a lawsuit for doing that. Because I don't know. I don't know the situation. I don't know if they got copyright permission. But I do understand that 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 was just way way over the limit of being extremely dramatic. Now. It's just, it seems to me like they are a bunch of self centered people that really, really want some fame and recogniza um, recognition, but they don't know any other way to do it besides writing on somebody else's success. I, I don't know. Now, I do under, I do, I do think that they, they have a good point. People need to start eating healthier. Vegetarianism or veganism or whatever the word for it, whatever you, however you would say that, is a very good way to be healthy. But it's ridiculous to do that kind of stuff, and and plus the the endangered animal hunting, skinning, trapping, um, no. Hunting deer, I don't care, as long as it's not endangered. Oh, and that's another thing. I adore wolves a lot, and uh, that's one reason, because they were forced to endangerment by that kind of thing. So I'm probably going to get really mad out of that a lot in these rants. 
if it has anything to do with it at all. I mean, even the slightest bit. Now, um, I mean, they have a good point. They have a lot of good points. But they just go the complete wrong way about it. Um, I mean, but they do, they do have some interesting facts and stuff on their, on their, uh, website. They, they have a lot of products, they have stickers and everything. You can get, like, 500 stickers for a dollar. And some of them are pretty interesting. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> I really, personally, there's one that I like. It's just fur with a, with the circle and the X around, across through it, like kind of like the no smoking signs. I really like that sticker, but and they've they're just I just don't see why you have to be that extreme about it. Um, they act so hypocritically extreme about things. Now, I don't I don't know how what else I could go with this one. I mean. There was another one, there was one other game on their website that I saw, that I played, it's called Cooking Mama, Mama Kills Animals, which, Cooking Mama, I know because, I know what I'm talking about, because my sister has, like, all the first things, and I played them a lot, because, I mean, it's entertaining to be able to do that, like, to play, just be sit there and cook on your DS, it's kind of fun, I mean, I find it entertaining, because I tend to be easily entertained. But that game, you have to brutally decapitate, open up, like you have to, it sh you have to decapitate it by chopping on its head with a knife multiple times. You have to uh, open it up from the behind and take out every one of its organs and put them in a bowl. Then you have to stuff it full of the stuffing that looks like some demonic mix of its liver and organs and and some kind of turkey dressing and then you stuff it in there and then you cook it it's, it's, it's gruesome it's bloody it's more bloody than mortal combat it's like it's like rachel ray turned into the slasher and had babies with um freddy and jason both at the same time i'm sorry for this graphicness but that's what it was like it was that bloody and i don't think you have to be that extreme to get the point across that butchering chickens could be a little bit more humane because that's what it was for. Um, the, the game had a bunch of facts about slaughterhouses where they um, prepped the meat and it said that they um, kept the chickens and then they make this Mortal Kombat reject of the cooking channel or something and to, to um, say that, and one thing, yeah, um, they they they're grown for they're bred for food. A lot of them are. Um, it's it's considered livestock for a reason. You have your reasons for feeling this way. Yes, and I'm not going to disagree with their reasons, because yeah, they could be a little bit more humane to animals that they're. Gonna, but, but one other thing though, anesthesia is expensive. I don't think they would spend that much money just to put some animal to sleep when it's just gonna be eaten anyway. I I understand the concern. I understand that yes, animals do have feelings. Why else would the cat claw your face when you try to poke it constantly or something? But uh, uh, nobody has the kind of money to use anesthesia on every single animal they butcher. Um, I'm running out of time because I can only make like 15 and a half minute long videos. But uh, that was about it on the games that I found to be extreme that I've played. There's there there's one. It's a knockoff of Mario. It's an older one that. Instead of Mario and Luigi, they're they're chicken nuggets, and they're saying that McDonald's is evil, and they kidnap. I don't know. Remember, I don't remember who it was a spoof of, but just go to their website and look at it. it it's interesting, but it's a little bit extreme. Um, if um, uh, I don't have, I I guess a question. If you want to comment, question like leave a response at the bottom. 
like comment or response. Um, what movies do you prefer? I don't know. God, it's cracked. There's your question in your random item. Have a nice day.